Hello and welcome back to another video here with Mimioni for Final Fantasy XIV. This time we're looking at Mannequins, which was a new addition in 4.4. So as of patch 4.4, only Makote Mannequins can be purchased and placed in your estate. There are plans for Mannequins representing other races, but this is all they added so far, and other races will be added in future patches. So to purchase a Mannequin, the first thing you need to do is find a housing merchant in your housing estate region, be that in the mist Lavender Beds, Goblet or Shiragani at this one at X10 Y11.8. Mannequins then will be at the bottom of the other tab when you talk to the housing merchant vendor. Now it's important to note there is a limit on mannequins per estate size. For example, a private chamber or apartment can hold four mannequins. A cottage can hold up to six mannequins. A medium sized house can hold up to eight and a mansion large size house can hold up to 10 mannequins at any one time. Simply place your mannequins down like you would any other item in the housing menu. You'll note that when you go to place your mannequin down in your house, it will ask you to select a retainer. This will be the retainer that you use for storage for items. Simply choose a retainer, and then you'll notice that it gets defaulted to a male Makote. You can change this by interacting with the mannequin itself, where you can change the sex between male and female, and you can also change the pose the mannequin is currently in, between the usual poses associated with that race. And then you have essentially two options, you can display items on them that are not for sale and you can also sell items on here. So firstly, how do we sell items on mannequins? If you access the mannequin and choose select gear to sell, it will open the mannequin shop settings window. Only saleable items in your inventory, armory chest or retainer inventory may be selected at this time. Choose the equipment type you want to sell, be that your head, body, hands, piece, etc. And then you may set the sale price for each individual item. Even if you place the mannequin in your storeroom or remove it from your estate whilst items are currently equipped, those items will remain equipped and can still be bought and sold on the market, so be aware. You can also check a box on this menu, sell only as set. This will make it so that you can sell all items equipped to the mannequin together. While the items may be viewed on the market board, a player then must access the mannequin directly if they wish to purchase the full set. When viewing items listed on the market board as part of a set, it is possible to send a tell to the seller to ascertain the location of their estate. Please be aware that it is possible to view the name of a character selling a set through the market board as opposed to going through the retainer name, so bear that in mind if you want anonymity. Once an item has been sold, the sold out text will be displayed for that equipment type, but the mannequin's appearance will not change until you select that equipment type again. Gill earned through the sales of equipment will be held on your retainer. Any items equipped on the mannequin that are listed for sale still occupy slots in the retainer's list. For that reason, a mannequin cannot be equipped with items that would cause the retainer to exceed the 20 item limit and this is the 20 item limit you would usually list for sale on the market board so this is if you're just displaying them not even selling them it will actually use that 20 item limit to display the items on the mannequin that you would usually use to sell items on the market board which is a bit of an oversight in my personal opinion and they have said that they want to change this in the future because obviously it's less than ideal so the other section is just displaying your gear. You may also display items on the mannequins without listing the gear for sale at all. It's also possible at this point to select unsellable items for display, which is obviously possible because we're not trying to sell these, and that includes class and job related items as well that are locked to a specific class. One of the biggest limitations is the mannequin cannot actually be used to display glamoured items. It must be the original item. If you try to display a glamoured item, it will just simply display the original item it was glamoured from. And obviously going Going back to the way you buy and sell things, the additional note to that as well is that purchasing items via the market board incurs those additional fees, the market board obviously takes a tax cut, whereas purchasing directly from a mannequin doesn't actually do that. So if you can persuade people to go to your mannequin and actually purchase items from that instead, then obviously you'll be better off in the long run. 
And that about wraps up what mannequins can do and how they're currently working in the game. As you've noticed, I mentioned before, they are currently planning to patch this system and make it so that your retainer's 20 item limit isn't used for storage whilst actually selling these items. Until then, this is how it is as of patch 4.4 on the 22nd of October 2018. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.